Hello, Ningguang. Hello. Is there some matter of importance you wish to discuss with me? Yes, I want to see you, Mommy. This is a comfortable environment. A good place to be calm and gather one's thoughts. Much like the days in the Jade Chamber. Oh, you misunderstand. An environment can't be judged purely on its size or opulence. I suppose. I sense the time and effort that you have put into this place, which reminds me of the time and effort I myself spent when constructing the Jade Chamber. Or to put it another way, I see this as the Jade Chamber that belongs to you. I mean you tried being like Zhongli for the better of Liu. Oh by the way, today is Lisa's birthday. Not the time I will be posting this video of course. Hey Lisa, happy birthday to you. Oh, when did you arrive? I was completely lost in thought. Aw, your concern for my well-being. Well, aren't you just the sweetest? You really know how to make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Okay. Don't you worry. I love it here. Do you have any suggestions how to improve the place? Not at all. I think what makes this place so special is the fact that it was built personally by you. Oh. If I were to start nitpicking, it would only ruin your creativity and the unique charm you bring to the place. You don't know how much of a mess this place really is, but thanks for the compliment. I certainly wouldn't want that to happen. Alrighty. Time to move on to the emo kid. Oh by the way, nice couch right there right? I make sure this place suits everyone's tastes even the neighborhood. Right on cue. I was just wondering whether you might appear. How do you like it here? Even if it were to exist solely upon the page, this teapot realm would not fail to inspire. And yet here I am, perceiving it with my own senses. Naturally, I couldn't be happier. Not to mention... Well, I can read at my leisure here, for hours on end, without any fear of interruption. Ah, the perfect getaway. You sure sound like that blue-haired protagonist. Shh, not so loud. I wouldn't dream of neglecting any of that. But please, don't let anyone else hear you talking about it. My father and brother are always ready to give me another earful. Right on cue. I was just wondering whether you might appear. But of course, it's always a pleasure to talk with you. Tell me, what have you been doing recently? Driving monsters away. Rescuing people from certain death except Pallid. Magnificent! Acts of pure chivalry were the sound of it. It sure is. Oh, oh, how I would love to take up the sword with you, pursuing justice throughout the land. <laughs> A pity that it will have to wait until some point in the future. But if we're talking about the here and now... Oh, I got it! Why don't we have ourselves a little contest? First to a hundred chivalrous acts wins. There are no restrictions on the nature of the act or the beneficiary, but you need to keep a tally. Once the act is completed, it should be verified by the other party. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't mind me. Just don't expect to win too easily. They look comfy, right? They even work hard to give us more elm coins. Anyways, let me get out of here before my recording decides to mess up again. Let me cook some delicious radish veggie soup. Oh wait, we're forgetting someone. 
There she is, what everyone's favorite I mean hated I mean I haven't known her yet. Oh, it's you. What is it? Huh? What kind of question is that? I'm certainly not someone who's good at handing out compliments. <sighs> Pointless. You think I'm some kind of tender soul? Neither good nor bad. There you go. Hey! Have you been watching me while I'm not looking? Darn it. How did I not notice? Anyway, vengeance will be mine. Typical soon I mean yay okay. Anyways, time to cook delicious radish veggie soup. Hope you guys don't mind but I'll fight cryo hypostasis to make the video longer. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Hopefully it won't stop recording or freezing my phone for the 100th time. Stabilize! Solidify! Solidify! I will have order. Gather. 